Good Thursday morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Isaac Cleland. Thank you for clicking on to abc12.com or checking us out in the Storm Tracker 12 weather app. Let's do a full September recap here, looking at precipitation or rainfall first. It was a very dry month. In fact, in these darker brown shadings here, we saw two to two and a half inches of rain less than what we would normally see during the entire month of September. In this lighter brown shaded area, that's one and a half to two inches lower than what we would normally see during during the month of September. This shading right here, that's one to one and a half inches lower. And then in these red shadings here and here, that's two and a half to three inches lower than normal. When we look at the official observing sites in Flint and Saginaw, we were about two inches uh, below normal at both of those locations during September. The UP experienced its driest September on record dating back to 1893. It was the second driest across northwestern lower Michigan, third driest across northeastern lower Michigan, and for much of southeastern lower Michigan here, the sixth driest September on record, tenth driest across central Michigan, twelfth driest across central southern lower Michigan, southwestern lower Michigan, 24th driest, and west central lower Michigan. It was the the 60th driest and again when we look at the rain gauges it was the 11th driest September on record specifically at uh, Flint Bishop International Airport one inch of rain was measured nearly two inches lower than normal and Saginaw three quarters of an inch of rain was measured that's two inches below normal making it the fifth driest let's look at temperatures now most of us were three to four degrees warmer than normal that's this orange shading right in here notice in these lighter shadings here two to three and one to to two degrees warmer than normal. And then in these darker shadings up in Huron County, that's four to five or five to six degrees warmer than normal. So no question, it was a warmer than normal September for us at the official observing sites in Flint and Saginaw, about three to four degrees warmer than normal. The 13th warmest September on record in Flint and the fifth warmest uh, September on record in the city of Saginaw. As far as our coldest temperatures that we've seen so far this autumn, 41 in Flint, same thing in Saginaw, the 41 occurred yesterday morning in Flint. The 41 occurred back on September 8th in Saginaw. Our average first frost now is September 26th in Flint and our average first frost in Saginaw is October 4th. So we're right around that time frame right now. Once the frost does show up, it will be later than normal at this point in time. Our highs today will be in the mid to upper 70s with plenty of sunshine. The hour by hour forecast is going to show a few high clouds floating through from time to time, but again, we will have plenty of sunshine tonight after 4 a.m. Some clouds will roll in. So tomorrow morning we do start off with clouds and isolated shower will be a possibility. If you see rain, it'll be less than a tenth of an inch and there will be many areas that don't see any rain at all. By tomorrow afternoon, the clouds move away. We're right back into sunshine. So Friday evening plans here look fantastic. Saturday plans look great as well as we'll see plenty of sunshine all day long with highs near 70. Saturday morning will be a little bit cool though. Some patchy frost will be possible mainly for areas here in purple in this blue shaded area where it says isolated frost, you're going to have to be in a highly susceptible location to in order to see it. You have to be in a low line spot in an area completely blocked by wind. So most areas don't see frost here in these isolated highlighted areas, but in the purple shaded area, that'll be our best chance of some frost on Saturday morning with lows in the mid 30s. Now moving into next week, October 8th and 9th, we are going to notice area wide. We could see lows between the mid 30s to low 40s. So increasing colder risks in here. The potential for frost does remain on the lower side of things because the difference between 35 and 39 degrees will make a difference. But nonetheless, we will watch that closely. So here's how we break it down in the seven day. 77 today with sunshine, 71 tomorrow. Clouds moving through during the morning. A shower is possible, but we're right back to the sun during the afternoon. Sunny on Saturday, cool start, but 70 in the afternoon. Sunday, it's a morning cold front. Some showers, a few thunder showers will be possible. It looks to be a breezy day in 72. Sunday's cold front does cool us down next week. Low to mid 60s for highs. We'll have mostly sunny skies. Lows at night, Tuesday and Wednesday mornings could be down in the upper 30s.